Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So I'm really excited for this video because I did a middle school version and you guys really seem to enjoy it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a back to school, high school makeup look and I'm also going to be sharing my high school essentials or a high school survival kit. Basically things that you may need to take to high school if you're going for the first time, you may not know, so I'm here to help you. First of all, I'm going to do the makeup look which is kind of a really school friendly smoky eye. I'm obsessed with it, it's so so pretty. And after the makeup look, I'm going to be showing you my survival kit. So if you guys are interested, make sure you keep watching and I really hope you enjoy. Okay, so what we're gonna be using for our face depends on whether you need more coverage or less coverage. For a little bit more coverage, I'd recommend this Bare Skin Foundation by Bare Minerals. It's really, really matte and you don't need to set it with a powder, but today I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Magic BB Cream BB cream. Again, this does not need to be set with a powder, which I feel is really nice for high school because your face isn't going to be caked on, which is super good. So I just blended that all over my face. By the way, it's really interesting because it applies white and once you blend it in, it matches your skin tone perfectly. So after your foundation or BB cream, you're going to go in with your favorite concealer and you're going to cover any dark circles, any blemishes, and I'm also going to apply a little bit on my lids to make my eyeshadow go on seamlessly I guess. Anyways, I'm using this concealer by Maybelline which I definitely recommend for high school by the way because it's so easy to blend. I feel like it's better than a lot of even high-end concealers so definitely try this out if you haven't. So after concealer, I'm going in with my Too Faced Soleil, Chocolate Soleil is what it's called, bronzer and I'm just applying that to the contours underneath my cheekbones and the sides of my nose to add a little bit of color to my face. Moving on to blush for this look, I'm going to be using one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's by Too Faced and it's a Sweethearts blush in the color Candy Glow. I love this especially for high school because it adds the perfect amount of color as well as a nice glow. So it's really easy, really flawless and I just love it. So moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using the Naked palette for this look. Three different shades, I'm going to be using Virgin, Toasted and Gunmetal. But before we go into using the Naked palette, I'm going to prime the outer corner of my eye using this eyeshadow stick from Flower Beauty and this is in the color Dark Side of the Blue. So I'm just applying it on the outer corner like I said and then I'm going to blend it with my finger. This nice little hint of blue is going to make our look less dramatic I guess and more high school friendly because it's not going to be black, it's going to be more of a bluish smoky eye. That was a mouthful, hope it made sense. So we could totally leave this look as is, but we're not. We're gonna go back in with our Naked palette and we're gonna choose our middle shade, which is the second darkest or toasted. And we are going to apply that in light tapping motions right to the center of our eyelid. Next, picking up the darkest color, which is gunmetal, we're gonna apply that right to the outer V of our eye and carefully blend it towards the center. Last but not least, I'm going to pick up the lightest highlighting shade, which is Virgin, on a smaller brush, and I'm going to apply that right to the inner corner of my eye. Next, make sure you guys invest in a really good blending brush because blending is super important. So I'm just going to blend all the colors together into my crease and make sure that I don't have any weird lines. So after that, make sure you repeat the same steps on your other eye. Remember that a good rule of thumb for eyeshadow is to create a sort of gradient effect so keep the lightest color in your inner corner, middle color in the middle, and darkest color towards your outer corner. So for this next step, I decided to add a little bit more of the dark gray color to the outer part of my bottom lash line because I have really small eyes and this creates the illusion of having bigger eyes. So after that, I added two coats of my favorite mascara to top and bottom lashes. You can apply as many as you like, but I feel like two is just right for me, especially for school. So after that, I'm using my Tarte Brow Mousse to fill in my eyebrows. Nothing too crazy, just lightly to make them look nice and polished and not have any weird empty spots. So for lips, I'm going to recommend two different products. One is one of my favorite products of all time. It's this Dior Lip Glow. I feel like it's a lip balm, maybe, cross between a lip gloss and a lipstick. Anyways, the point is that it adjusts to your own skin tone. It's amazing. Feels super nice, smells super good, and it's like perfect for high school, in my opinion, because it's not crazy at all. But that's not what I'm going to be using today. Since I did have a smoky eye going on, I decided to go with a nude color. This is a lipstick by Flower Beauty, and it's in the color Apricot Blossom. So it's a really pretty nude. It's not like a nude that makes you look washed out, which is what I don't like about nudes personally. So this one is perfect for me, so I just applied that and blended it in with my fingers. 
So as you can see, that's it for the completed makeup look. Make sure if you guys try this out, you post pictures on Twitter and Instagram and tag me so I can check them out. Hey guys, I'm back. So now I'm going to be showing you my essentials kit, what I carry in my bag at all times, or what I would carry when I was in high school, because surprise, surprise, I'm no longer in high school either. So this is what it looks like. This is just an old Ipsy bag. It's the Rebecca Minkoff, the one she designed. Basically, it's a little makeup bag, which I use for other things, like keeping my things in my backpack organized. Anyways, I'm rambling, so let's just go to what's inside this bag. So the first thing I see is, I already had this in my middle school essentials kit. So if you guys watch that, then you probably saw this. Basically, a bag of a bag really a pack of tissues because it's really important to me I find that this has a lot of uses if you go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper if you make a mess you need to blow your nose clean anything up then you have this in your backpack super multi-purpose I always have this whether it's in my backpack in my bags I just have a pack of Kleenex or tissues moving on next thing I see in here is a tiny travel I want to say travel not really it's like a small version of my favorite lip gloss this is a buxom Full on lip polish is what it's called, and this is in the color Sophia. It's my favorite lip gloss in the entire world. It's a really, really pretty color. It's kind of a nude, pinkish, awesome for high school. It doesn't feel sticky, it kind of plumps your lips. It's basically my favorite lip product of all time, and I always keep a lip product in my bag at all times. Like after lunch, you may have to retouch your lip gloss or lipstick, whatever you're wearing, and it's always nice to have a spare just in case your lips get dry or anything like that. So I always keep my favorite lip product inside my backpack. Next thing I have in here is a compact mirror. I also talked about this in my middle school essentials kit. Basically, it's good to have this because sometimes you can't make it to the bathroom and you have to check your makeup. You have to check whether you have something in your teeth after lunch, a lot of stuff. I just find that it's really useful, at least for me, to have a compact mirror in my backpack because sometimes you just want to check up on your hair or something and you just don't want to walk all the way to the bathroom. And in those cases, this will be really, really handy. So just Trust me, I love having a mirror in my backpack. So after that, in my essentials kit, I have an extra pair of head, no, earphones. Technically, these are not headphones. Anyways, I like having these in here because sometimes I may forget my headphones at home and I cannot survive a day at school without having these. You guys can probably relate. I just love listening to music, whether it's in between classes or you wanna block out everybody else during lunch. You to you. So up next in here I have a ponytail holder and I also have bobby pins because sometimes my hair will look so so good in the morning and then by like 2 p.m. it's a crazy mess and I just want to get it out of my face and in those cases I always have a spare ponytail holder in my bag and it comes really really super in handy. Did I even say that right? It comes in handy. Okay, so up next in here I have hand sanitizer, which desperately needs to be refilled. Anyways, this is really useful in school because you touch a lot of yucky things. Sometimes before you eat it comes in handy if you don't want to wash your hands, all that stuff. So I always keep hand sanitizer with me at all times. So another school essential is definitely either gum or mints of some sort because sometimes you want to eat something sweet. Don't eat it in class, by the way, but like after lunch, after you eat something, anything like that, you should have gum inside your purse because it does come in handy as well. After that, I have a snack in here. I have a Luna bar, Luna fiber bar. This is a vanilla blueberry, which are super good, by the way. Anyways, I get hungry a lot, and I'd rather have a healthy snack or healthier snack inside my bag instead of like buying something at a vending machine, which is what I have in school. So I always keep a healthy snack with me at all times as well. And then up next in here, girls, you know what this is. When it's that time of the month and you don't know that it's about to arrive, then it's good to have either a panty liner or a pad or a tampon, whatever you like, inside your backpack because emergencies do happen and it's nice to have yourself covered. Yeah. So then after that, I recommend you carry either a small sample size of your favorite perfume or a roller ball. Here I have the Flower Balm perfume, which is my favorite at the moment, and it smells so good. Sometimes I'll forget to like put on perfume before leaving my house or like after gym class. You may need to like freshen up before you talk to your crush. Anything like that, basically just have either a body mist or a perfume roller ball or sample inside your backpack, and you guys will thank me later. 
Then last but not least inside my emergency kit I have cash. This is a $20 bill. I always have extra money inside my emergency kit because like what if you forget your wallet and you need to buy lunch or you need to put gas in your car or anything like that. It's nice to have extra money to like have yourself covered just in case you never know in case of an emergency. So always keep that in there as well. So that's everything inside my emergency kit. And that's everything for this video. If you guys enjoyed the makeup look and my essentials, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. Also leave any video requests in the comments and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.